वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर हितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पोलार प्लॉट फोर टाइप जीरो सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट इज टाइप जीरो सिस्टम सी इन टाइप जीरो सिस्टम वी डोंट हैव एनी पोल एट ओरिजिन राइट सो इन टाइप जीरो सिस्टम पोल्स एट ओरिजिन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो हियर यू कैन सी जी ऑफ एस इज इक्वल्स टू के डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस एस टी वन वन प्लस एस टी टू इन दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी पोल एट ओरिजिन मीन्स दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड टाइप जीरो सिस्टम लेट अस हैव पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू पुट एस इज इक्वल्स टू जे ओमेगा सो एज इफ यू पुट एस इज इक्वल्स टू जे ओमेगा यू विल बी हैविंग जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा दैट इज के डिवाइड बाय इंस्टेड ऑफ एस नाउ वी नीड टू प्लेस जे ओमेगा सो वन प्लस जे ओमेगा टी वन वन प्लस जे ओमेगा टी टू नाउ दैट इज हाउ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज देर विथ अस नाउ इन सेकेंड स्टेप वी आर डील विथ टू राइट जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा इन पोलर फॉर्म सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन शुड नो वॉट इज पोलर फॉर्म यू सी जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा दैट इज मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा इन टू फेज ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा दैट इज अवर पोलर फॉर्म एंड इन दिस दिस मैग्नेट्यूड दैट इज मोड ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस एंड इन दैट वी नीड टू हैव मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ दिस सो दैट इज के डिवाइड बाय नाउ यू सी वी हैव दिस पोल सो फॉर दैट इट इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ रियल पार्ट ऑफ स्क्वेर प्लस इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ स्क्वेर सो वन स्क्वेर प्लस इमेजनरी इज ओमेगा टी वन सो दिस विल बी ओमेगा स्क्वेर टी वन स्क्वेर एंड फॉर दिस पोल विल बी हैविंग स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ रियल पार्ट स्क्वेर सो दैट इज वन प्लस इमेजनरी पार्ट स्क्वेर सो दैट इज ओमेगा स्क्वेर टी टू स्क्वेर सो दैट इज हाउ वी कैन हैव मैग्नेट्यूड एंड टू हैव अ फेज दैट इज एंगल ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा यू सी इट इज बेस्ड ऑन पोल्स एंड जीरोज फॉर पोल्स एंगल इज नेगेटिव एंड फॉर जीरोज एंगल इज पॉजिटिव फॉर दिस सिस्टम वी डोंट हैव एनी जीरोज so for this pole and this pole angle is negative and that is minus tan inverse imaginary component divided by real component imaginary component is omega t1 real is 1 so omega t1 divided by 1 minus another pole is there over here tan inverse imaginary that is omega t2 divided by real that is 1 so this is our phase so now we have magnitude and phase and we can utilize this for polar plot calculation so now in third step we are deal with to identify two essential points omega is equals to 0 and omega is equals to infinite so to find omega is equals to 0 we need to identify magnitude and phase so at omega is equals to 0 magnitude that will be you see omega is equals to 0 you just place that so that will be k divided by 1 and 1 so that will be k and phase in that we need to place omega is equals to 0 so tan inverse 0 tan inverse 0 so 0 minus 0 so that is 0 so this is the point which we have calculated at omega is equals to 0 now find a point at omega is equals to infinite so in that magnitude that will be now you see k divided by omega is there so k by infinite so anything by infinite that will be 0 so magnitude is 0 and you see phase So minus tan inverse infinite. Tan inverse infinite is ninety, and again minus tan inverse infinite. So this is again ninety. So minus ninety minus ninety. 
so that will be minus 180 now in fourth step we will have to separate real and imaginary part so to separate real and imaginary part of g of j omega first i should be writing g of j omega as it is given you see so i'm writing this again now let us separate this real and imaginary part step by step so to separate real and imaginary we need to multiply complex conjugate of this denominator and divide it so complex conjugate of this denominator that is 1 minus j omega t1 and 1 minus j omega t2 that we need to multiply and divide so now we have this equation and in that if you see denominator then you see 1 plus j omega t1 into 1 minus j omega t1 so that will be 1 minus j square omega square t1 square and j square is minus 1 so this will be 1 plus omega square t1 square and 1 plus j omega t2 into 1 minus j omega t2 that is 1 plus omega square t2 square so we have calculated denominator now in numerator we need to separate this two multiplication so you see 1 into 1 so that is 1 and minus j omega t1 into minus j omega t2 so that is minus minus plus j square omega square t1 t2 j square is minus 1 so this will be minus omega square t1 t2 and now you see minus j omega t1 into 1 and minus j omega t2 into 1 so in that minus j common and omega is also common so 1 t1 plus t2 that we need to multiply along with this so this is how we can multiply this two now in this if you see real component so k into 1 minus omega square t1 t2 divided by 1 plus omega square t1 square 1 plus omega square t2 square so this is real component minus j into omega t1 plus t2 divided by 1 plus omega square t1 square 1 plus omega square t2 square so this is our imaginary component so now we have real and imaginary component so to have intersection to real axis we need to equate imaginary component is equals to 0 and to have intersection to imaginary axis we need to equate this real component is equals to 0 so if this imaginary component is equals to 0 then one can say omega is equals to 0 right and we have already calculated omega is equals to 0 point you see so we don't need to calculate magnitude and phase for this and to have intersection to imaginary axis we need to equate real component is equals to 0 so if you compare this real component is equals to 0 then we can say you see omega square that is equals to 1 by t1 t2 so value of omega that is 1 divided by square root of t1 t2 so this is the frequency at which we can have intersection to imaginary axis right now at this frequency we need to identify magnitude and phase right so we just need to place omega is equals to 1 by square root of t1 t2 in given magnitude equation so we'll be having magnitude and in this we can say this t1 and this t1 and this t2 and this t2 will get cancel so if you take lcm of t1 and t2 from the square root we can have this magnitude as per k into square root of t1 t2 and 
you see over here it will be square root of t1 plus t2 and here it is square root of t1 plus t2 so that is t1 plus t2 so this is the magnitude which we have and to have a phase we need to place omega is equals to 1 divided by square root of t1 t2 in equation of phase so we can have now you see omega that is 1 by square root of t1 t2 so t1 divided by square root of t1 t2 minus 10 inverse t2 divided by square root of t1 t2 that we need to place and we can say this is minus 10 inverse square root of t1 by t2 minus 10 inverse square root of t2 by t1 and this is minus 10 inverse now you see 10 inverse a a plus 10 inverse b if you take minus sign common then that will be 10 inverse a plus b divided by 1 minus a b so this will be now you see this t1 t1 t2 t2 that will get cancelled 1 minus 1 so 1 by 0 so that will be 10 inverse infinite so that is minus 90 so now we have magnitude and phase right for intersection to imaginary axis now i'll explain you how to plot polar plot based on all these steps right so here i'm going to show you how to plot polar plot now see in polar plot this is origin over here angle is 0 over here angle is minus 90 here minus 180 and here angle is minus 270 right and in polar plot first we need to place two essential points right first essential point that is omega is equals to 0 where magnitude is k and phase is 0 magnitude is distance with respect to center and here angle is 0 right so let us say this point which is having this magnitude that is k and angle 0 so this is the point which is omega is equals to 0 point now second point that is there at omega is equals to infinite where magnitude is 0 and phase is minus 180 so this is minus 180 phase magnitude is 0 so this is the point where omega is equals to infinite is there right now if you observe intersection to imaginary axis intersection to real axis is happening at origin only so intersection to imaginary axis that we need to see where frequency is omega is equals to 1 divided by square root of t1 t2 magnitude is k into square root of t1 t2 divided by t1 plus t2 and phase is minus 90 so here let us say minus 90 is there and this is the magnitude and that is k into square root of t1 t2 divided by t1 plus t2 right and here frequency is omega is equals to 1 divided by square root of t1 t2 and phase is minus 90 right so that is how three essential points that we have now graph will start from omega is equals to 0 you see it is getting started like this and you see it is going towards omega is equals to infinite where phase is minus 180 so that is how it is getting enclosed so this is our polar plot right so these are the steps which we need to follow to have a polar plot i hope you have understood this if you have any query you just place that in comments definitely i'll get back to you and i'll try to sort out all those things which is required to be sorted over here